1933. Over the past week or so, the pitch at White Hart Lane has been better suited to winter sports than soccer. Snow shoveling has been very much the order of the day. But the blizzard returned to threaten the match yet again as fans arrived for this much postponed tie between Spurs and their great rivals, Burnley. A drop of instant warmth came in very handy. Conditions were atrocious and from the kickoff, Spurs in white shirts slid into the attack. This was the third time in succession that Spurs had played Burnley in the cup they were all out to make it three successive victories. Wow, that was close. Good constructive football was impossible. It was just a question of taking a chance. And that's what Burnley did in the 40th minute. Scorer, Harris. Here come Burnley again, skating down pitch. But this time Spurs' defence stood firm and their forwards took up the story. With White and Smith doing good work, they were flat out for the equaliser before half-time. No luck though, and Spurs fans looked to the second half for better things. They got little joy though. This Burnley attack with winger Harris well to the fore caused some anxious moments for the Spurs' defence. Then Burnley increased their lead with a snap goal by Connelly. When would the Super Spurs click into action? The weather might be cold, but tempers were a bit too hot, with quite a bit of elbow play. Spurs were even more depressed when Lockhead scored number three. Burnley trying to save a corner. Then following the corner came that unhappy incident which transformed a soccer match into a brawl. Conditions were just about rock bottom, but that's no excuse for rock bottom behavior. It does nothing but discredit the game. In the closing minutes, Spurs did stage something of a comeback, but they couldn't score. beaten Burnley in the final last year, but their hopes of winning the cup for the third season running were buried beneath the snows of White Hart Lane. 